How do you deal with someone ghosting you or treating you as if they can just leave today and pick you back up whenever they feel like it? But first, like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. How do you deal with people who ghost you one day and then pick you back up whenever they feel like it? When somebody, quote, ghosts you, that is the optimal show of disrespect in my book, especially when it's someone who you thought was close to you and valued you as much as you value them. When you're dealing with someone who hasn't spoken to you in maybe five months, five years, or however amount of time, unless they went off of the grid because of something that was completely out of their control, they suffered some kind of you know circumstance where it was very traumatic and when they talk to you, you now understand that. If they just decided, you know what, for this season, I don't wanna be bothered with her and you did absolutely nothing to them, that is an issue and that is not acceptable. And as a woman, it is okay for you to tell that person that you are not okay with how they treat you. You see, as women, we treat people or we train people how to treat us. When somebody looks at you as disposable, because that ultimately is what ghosting is, they're disposing of you and they'll choose to come back to you whenever they feel like it. And if you don't understand your self-worth, you'll be right there waiting for them to say, like I was saying, and you'll just pick right back up as if, what they did to you doesn't matter. You have some women who are like that. You have some women who are so needy for the attention of other people who so want to be in the good graces of other people who so want to have a connection or have a bond or have this circle of people that she will allow people to mishandle her and treat her as if she is not a valuable friend, a valuable family member, a valuable woman. I say in this season, that stops. As a woman, if someone doesn't love your presence as much as you love theirs, you need to drop those kind of friends and family members. When it comes to family members, you might absolutely love them. You should love your family, but you might have to put distance between yourself and them and not be around them as much as you used to, especially if you see patterns in them that looks a little bit shady they treat you as if, you know, one moment they're okay with you, depending on who they're around. One moment they're okay, you know, if we're around grandma, you know, everybody's okay. But if we're around the cousin that I really like, I can't really talk to you that much. You got to really watch out for those kind of people. Or if you have the friend who was okay with dumping all of their problems on you, but as soon as they feel better, you don't hear from them for another five, six, seven months. They just go completely off the grid until there's something wrong. As a woman, it is not okay to be that go-to when things are bad, but people don't want to deal with you or be around you when things are good for them. People don't want to be around you to just shoot the breeze. They want to be around you when there's something wrong or when they can get something from you. Don't let people deplete your feminine energy. Don't let people deplete your kindness. As they used to say, don't let people take your kindness for weakness. And I am not saying that as a woman, you walk around bitter, you resent other people, you walk around as if, you know what, I can't trust anyone. That is not what I'm saying. I'm saying know your worth. Know that you are a woman that makes an impact, a positive impact in relationships. And if the people that you are around doesn't see that, those are not people that you should call friend and close family. You have some family members, they will ghost you. They will treat you and mishandle you and not speak to you for years. And then out of the blue, they'll call you up and say, hey, no explanation, didn't tell you what was wrong, didn't apologize for anything. They just start speaking as if nothing happened. Like they used to say, they think you're boo-boo the fool. You're just going to pick up and just talk to them and do different things as if it's the next day. That is not right. If you are a person who you love your family, you love your friends, you love the relationships, you work to make those relationships actually grow and be deeper, you will not be okay with a person who just discards you and then wants to pick you back up whenever they feel like it and there was nothing traumatic that happened that caused their absence. They just decided, tis tis, I don't want to be bothered with her anymore. I'll pick her up whenever I feel like it. 
No, sweetie, you're worth more than that. I'm worth more than that. You're worth more than that. And we have to, once again, teach people how to treat us. So how can we teach people that we are not disposable? How can we deal with people, quote, ghosting us or ghosting you and deciding to pick you up the next day? For me, because that has happened to me a couple times with, I would say family, not really friends so much, but family. I would say when you see those family members, you treat them the way they treated you. Meaning, they ghosted you. You might have been very close for a very long time. But when you see them at the family function, you're not just like, hey, how you doing? No, no, no. We got to do this. Oh, yeah, that's good. How's everybody? Wonderful. All right. I'm going to talk to you later. All right. All right. You take care. And leave it at that. Become stoic. That is what I'm saying. A lot of the ways that you can combat mistreatment, mishandling of you, is to become stoic. To simply act like you don't give a, a fig newton. To so simply act like you don't give a fig tree. Because when you do that, people will understand that life still went on without them. And more times than not, you forgot all about them. And that's the worst part about ghosting. When people do ghost you, especially if you're an introverted person, a lot of times over time when people are no longer around, you just kind of forget about their presence. You don't really worry about them anymore. You might have missed them for a little bit of time, but over time you got used to them not being there. You got used to them not calling. You got used to not having any texts. You got used to not having any kind of communication with them, you know? Life just went on and you're feeling good. You're doing what you're doing. And then here they go. And now you have to go back into that door that you closed out and you became accustomed to not being there, to them not being there. And now you have this new emotion of like, oh, now they're back. When you become stoic, you do not worry about their presence being back. It's like you're just meeting them for the first time. And if you have been away from someone for a long time, let's say for years, Honestly, you really don't know them like that. And for many families, you know, especially when it comes to cousins and all that kind of stuff, you might not have seen those people since you were kids and you might be in your 30s and 40s now. Technically, you really don't know those people. So it is like you're meeting them for the first time. But if you have relationships where you were adults and you were hanging out and doing different things and they just went off the grid, disconnected from you, act like you didn't matter, you're not obligated to try to pick up that same emotional bond that you once had. You're not. You don't hold unforgiveness. You don't hold bitterness because I believe that is a sin. God does not want us to be unforgiving toward anyone. But forgiving someone is not allowing them to treat you however they want to treat you. And when somebody ghosts you, especially someone that matters to you, that's painful and they don't have a right to inflict that kind of pain without at least trying to be accountable for it. Now, if they see you and they say, you know, I'm sorry for not being in contact, this and that, and this is the reason why, then I would say if you have it in your heart to forgive and then be around them, do that. Reform that bond, reform that relationship. But if they just speak to you as if it's the next day and they give no explanation for why they went away in the first place, as into why they stop talking to you, become stoic and just don't care. As your life had went on when they ghosted you for those months, those years, you will be just fine. That showed you. And that's the reason why they say in relationships, when you have issues, it's not really good for you to be separated because you're just teaching each other how to be alone, how to be apart. You're learning how to be without that person. That is true. When somebody is close to you and all of a sudden they're not there, they're literally training you how to do life without them. And if it's someone who can discard you like that and then pick you up whenever they feel like it, that is not somebody you should be close to anyway. So dealing with ghosting, that can be something that, you know, many people don't want to talk about because everybody has this whole like, you know, hey, it is what it is. I would do this, you know. I would say social media has really destroyed our communication skills for many people, our in-person communication skills. People don't think, they think, okay, if I see you online, if I hit you a like every few months, that's connection, but it is not. We still need that interpersonal, that human touch, that human contact, that in-person communication. But we've tricked ourselves into believing that social media and online is enough. And some people don't even give you that. 
So as a woman, as a valuable person, you need to understand that you are worth more than that and teach people how to treat you. And if you feel so compelled, tell people how that hurt you. And if you want to just let it go and become stoic, which is my go-to, I would say do that. But under no circumstances are you a type of woman and don't be this type of woman that allows people to just mishandle her and do whatever they want. Just treat her as if she's disposable and then, hey, whenever I see you, I see you. No, you're worth more than that. Check on me on a Tuesday at 515 when it's raining out just randomly. Don't wait for a holiday. Don't wait for a weekend. If we are connected, if we are close, just say, hey, in the middle of the day when you have a moment. Just text whenever you have a moment. That's the way that should go. So as women, don't worry about ghosting, confront it, focus on yourself, forgive. And at the end of everything, if the person is not apologetic, become stoic, treat them kindly, but you are not obligated to have a bond with someone who doesn't want to bond with you. All right? Like and subscribe to the channel and share this content. Hit the notification bell so that you're aware when I post a brand new video. Hit the like button and share. Take care.